Hello and welcome back to the Toffee Blues YouTube channel, your source for all things Everton. My name is Thomas, back on the channel today with a news video. There is a few different rumours to get into today, nothing particularly substantial, no major news, but still a few coming from around the continent that we will get into right away. First up, we have a rumour from Tuto Sport claiming that the club are interested in Samuel Illing Jr. from Juventus. Uh, they claim that the move for Wilfred Nonto from Leeds is maybe hit a bit of a stumbling block because of the €30 million valuation, whereas Juventus value Illing Jr. at around €25 million, Euros, but could drop their asking price. Apparently Aston Villa are also interested in a player that plays predominantly on the left. Didn't make too many appearances Last year, he originated in Chelsea's academy before moving over to Italy, uh, making 29 appearances in all competitions last year with six goals and four assists, but the majority of them not coming in Serie A. He hasn't been a starter for Juventus by any means. He's still very much a young player. Playing on the left wing, he has at times in well, recently been developed more of a defensive role, but that is very much just because of the Juventus system. This would be a placeholder for the left wing. As I mentioned, young player, Villa also interested. It's a rumour that you should take with a pinch of salt. Tudo Sport has never been a particularly reliable source when it comes to transfer rumours, but I've seen this one a couple of times over the past week or so, so it may have legs going on. It, it may be agent talk, uh, as, we can, or as we always expect. The club seriously, uh, clearly look interested uh, in Wilfred Nonto, but if Leeds aren't willing to sell, they will have to look elsewhere for a winger. We definitely need one going into the new season. I mean, there's any number of positions we need to sign before that, predominantly, predominantly sorry, a striker or a centre-half, but... This is clearly a left-wing target, potentially as a, an alternative to Nonto if Leeds will not let him go. Next up, we have a rumour from the Mail claiming that Everton are interested in the 23-year-old centre-half Umar Sule from RB Salzburg in the Austrian League, uh, playing entirely as a centre-half last year, making 25 appearances, one goal and one assist. Clearly, the club are going to need to recruit in that position. There haven't been too many players linked. Of course, Cody, the, the deal to sign him on a permanent was not uh, taken up by the club. Also, Yerimina leaving on a free means. We are a bit light at centre-half. We've seen Michael Keane there playing there in pre-season, but we all know how that went at the end of last season. So we'll be interested to see if the club do try and pursue another centre-half. It maybe doesn't seem like a priority because of the desperate need for a striker, but we are clearly lacking depth. Holgate looks like he's potentially on his way out. Godfrey's clearly not fancied there. Hasn't really been since he joined the club. Uh, so reinforcements will probably be necessary. Is it the most important part of the squad that we need to focus our minimal transfer funds on? I'd probably say no because we are in desperate need of a like-for-like -like replacement for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And potentially the next player that we're linked with, who's been linked with all summer, uh, may slightly remedy that going forwards. And that striker is, of course, Kelechi Iheanacho from Leicester. We've seen the link basically since before the end of last season. Uh, had a decent campaign uh, last year with Leicester, a team that very much struggled. He's not exactly the same profile as Calvin Lewin, of course, which the club you know, have been guilty of in the past few summers. We've, I mean, Neil Mopé is by no means a similar player to Calvin Lewin, and if Calvin Lewin cannot stay fit uh, for kind of the foreseeable future, if he can't stay fit for the entirety of the season, which... Maybe the club don't expect him to, considering his injuries in the past. We will absolutely need to sign uh, another player at striker. Picking up eight goals and five assists last year. Three of those goals coming in the FA Cup. The rest coming in uh, the Premier League. It's not the best record, but a team that clearly struggled. Obviously struggled more defensively uh, instead of offensively. So you probably would have wanted to see him chip in with a few more goals. But he's a decent Premier League striker. At the end of the day, if Leicester can offer him at a cut price, they're obviously going to look to sell players uh, because of their relegation. Is the Anacho my ideal replacement? The club's long-standing interest in El Bilal Toure has clearly fizzled out now. He has joined Atalanta despite all the back and forth that went uh, that went down there. But is the Anacho an ideal replacement for a lower fee, perhaps? I've seen other people talk about Che Adams on Twitter. We're not going to be looking at any particularly headline strikers going into this season. The club simply do not have the funds to focus so much money there. El Balal Toure, despite the fact it was rumoured to be around a 30 million fee, it was for a very low down payment, which most clubs are not going to accept. Uh, anyway, he's gone off to Atalanta. The club, according to BBC Sport, have a, a mild interest in Iheanacho. I'm not sure what they mean, but you can add that to the, the many lists uh, of, uh, of terms that are used by journalists uh, to refer to transfer rumours. We'll have to see how this one develops. There's been talk about it, as I said, before the end, since before the end of last season. 
Might be one that kind of lingers on towards the end of the summer where we desperately try and look for a replacement because we've left it all to the last minute. We'll have to see how that one develops. However, Ian Acho is apparently linked to the club and the club have a mild interest in him, whatever that may mean. And the final rumour that I'm going to get into today is Antonio Nusa. I pronounced that correctly. Uh, currently playing for Club Bruges. This has come from Sport Witness, citing another account. Can play across the front line, right wing, left wing. It, he's a very young player at the moment. He's only 18. Has a contract until 2027. Last year, uh, made 34 appearances in all competitions, scoring twice, assisting twice. If it's a particularly low fee, if it's investing in talent, then I've got no issue with it. However, because funds are so low, we almost need, well, I wouldn't say almost need, we definitely need players to come in and make that instant impact. I'd like to see us sign young players. Unfortunately, because of the financial situation we find ourselves in, that seems vaguely tricky at the moment. So we'll have to see how this one develops. As I said, most of the rumours today are fairly non-starters, I'd imagine. Apart from Milling Jr., we've seen him linked a couple of times, but... Players like this that are linked, it's often agent talk. It's often maybe the club expressing an interest if a scout has been to the game. It, it's hard to see this one developing any further because of his age, because of, well, he's coming from the Belgian league. There's no chance uh, that he will, be, ha will have an instant impact in the Premier League. We'll have to see how it develops. We do need strength kind of on the wing. If you can play either wing, I'm sure the club will be looking for a player to play there. We've just brought in Dan Juma, of course, but potentially the club are looking to kind of shoehorn him into the striker position. If they fail to find a replacement there, which wouldn't be ideal, I think when you're looking at the signs we made so far, Ashley Young and Dan Juma, we're not really looking, unfortunately, at the young players who will maybe eventually come go because we need instant impact now on a relatively low budget. Every penny counts. And as the days tick by and the MSP investment is still not being finalised, of course, that won't have a major impact on transfers by any means. It will it'll help cash flow more and it will go more towards the stadium. But... Out of the rumours today, it's hard to get particularly excited. It doesn't seem like there's much going on uh, from the club's perspective in terms of making signings. The Elbal Alture hunt was very publicised. He's ended up joining Atalanta. I don't blame him. They've got a fantastic record of developing youth players. So hoping to see more in the coming days, uh, more rumours developing. We, we need to get bodies through the door. Fulham is only, what, just over two weeks away we need signings through the door pretty quickly if we're going to stand a better chance of surviving relegation uh, than we had last season. But thank you all very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Will you be interested in any of these players? I must admit, before I started the video, I've not really heard of too many of them, apart from, as I mentioned, Illing Jr. But do let me know, as always, all your thoughts down in the comments below. And thank you all very much for watching, and join us next time on the Toffee Blue.